Right, we are following breaking news out of the East Bay. You can see right here a very smoky wildfire burning in Pittsburgh right now. And it's hard to miss if you live in the area. This is a one hour time lapse from an alert wildfire camera. It gives you a good idea of just how much smoke is coming out of this one. It's in the Pittsburgh Marsh off Willow Pass Road. Firefighters say it is burning in a remote area near a decommissioned power plant. Uh, it started weeks ago, actually, had been smoldering until flaring up again today. Here's another view of that massive smoke cloud from the ground. This was shot off Highway 4 nearby, posted on Twitter. Contra Costa firefighters say right now the fire is not threatening any homes or businesses, but obviously still causing a lot of concern for people nearby. Let's go ahead and get to NBC Bay Area. Stephanie Magallon in Pittsburgh right now. What's the latest out there, Stephanie? Well, I mean, you just said it, you know, there's no homes that are currently being threatened, no evacuations. However, as you can see, the fire is generating a lot of smoke, and that's because there's a power plant right here that's surrounded by vegetation and palm trees, and some of those palm trees are actually on fire right now. Since about 12 this afternoon, Contra Costa County fire crews came out here to Willow Pass, Willow Pass Road after getting reports of smoke. Because of access issues, they couldn't get to the area generating the smoke immediately. That's when the wind picked up and started a vegetation fire. And that fire has been moving toward the power plant. But now what's interesting is firefighters say that this is actually a fire that's been smoldering since last month. This is an ongoing incident that you know started probably back mid-June. Uh, the fire has been smoldering. Uh, in an inaccessible location and a combination of the winds, the heat, and again, the, the dried fuels allowed the fire to reignite. So now the fire is 200 acres and it's 50% contained. Firefighters say that the concern right now is the power plant and that's because there are a few tanks on there that have a little bit of oil, but that's being decommissioned. Another concern is a train track that actually passes through the fire area. We're going to stay out here and keep an eye on the activity and keep you guys posted and updated. Stephanie, really appreciate that update. All right, Chief Meteorologist Jeff Ranieri is joining yep. me now. So, Jeff, firefighters, they were hoping that this fire was just going to burn out on its own. Obviously, mm -hmm. winds just contributed to what's happening today. What are the conditions looking like for tonight? Well, it's even hotter tonight. Uh, you can see the fire again to the north and the east of Concord. So, uh, really, the dry brush and those warmer temperatures helping to fuel this fire. Let's go ahead and take you and get you a closer look at what I'm seeing right now on those conditions. And you can see it's primarily impacting Pittsburgh, as we just heard from Stephanie. We have a hotter 88 today. Winds coming out of the west at 17. So, unfortunately, anyone around the Pittsburgh area, the smoke is just going to continually to move over your region region until they get a better handle on this tomorrow even hotter 94 uh, wind gusts anywhere of about 10 to 20 miles per hour now of course we're tracking this at nbcbayarea.com also another fire the washburn fire in yosemite this will be pushing smoke up towards tahoe tonight and it looks like tomorrow through the foothills of the sierra also including tahoe as well so if you're headed this way you also need to watch out for some smoke i've got details on exactly how hot in your microclimate i'm back with that in about 15 minutes